Welcome back to this tutorial color correction in this video took me a bit um, and yeah we hop in right in After Effects we can see today we're gonna use another scene of the edit we did uh, the last episode so it's basically because um, I want to show you color correction on this example right here you can just copy it to the project we did um, just think about it that this is our edit so basically on top of every layer in your composition you create a new adjustment layer with Control alt y and on that adjustment layer you basically just drag some effects so you go on the effects and presets panel and you search for metric color for curves just double click it by the way if you select the adjustment layer leaf color channel mixer and change to color and additionally noise um we can find a noise and grain so this tutorial will be 100 without any plugins so anyone who has after effects can do that um, it was ported for me. A lot of people do it with uh, magic bullet looks, but it's not really necessary. You can also do a really cool color correction just with these ones. The first thing we actually do is change the curves on top. And most of the time, an like S curve is the perfect curve for, for the correction. This uh, is anime, so it's a bit different. Um, and we just take a look how far we want to drag it we don't want to be want to do it too dark so that's okay we're gonna do light tweaks at the end and now it's gonna go with the lumetric color lumetric color if you go on base correction you can basically change contrast highlight shadows whites blacks how you know it probably from lightroom i usually do my um color corrections in lightroom i don't know why but and yeah you can change exposure uh, contrast highlights and we want to play just slightly with it so we want a bit contrast in it push up the highlights usually so it's getting a bit more glowy um for shadows you just have to see take a look is it too dark is it not you don't want to make it too bright of course as well so take care of the blacks because yeah you can change a lot with it so something around that if we gonna hide it you can see the difference now it's probably a bit too much the highlights are fine it's more about the contrast so let's try let's try this okay and that's done we're gonna hop into leaf colors basically an effect i wanted to show you because if you want to use sometimes you want to use only one color so for example, you would just want this, um, yeah, this orange in it. Or oh, let's let's go with the wet. Then we're gonna just amount to decolor. As you can see, you just see the red. Probably you need to. As you can see, it's a cool effect. You can edit some some scenes, but not on the whole ed edit. Probably okay. But in this example, we don't need it, so we're gonna delete it. Next one is channel mixer. Channel mixer is basically for the next things uh, about change to color. A lot of people are asking me how I do some changes. It's basically you and saturation in Lightroom. You can also do it in After Effects uh, without any plugin. It's a bit uh, different, but for example, you want to change this um, fire to something like a purple. We're going to select the, the yellow and the fire. And we want to go with something like this and then crank up the hue and saturation a bit as you can see tanjiro also changes his uh, skin color which is not perfect and that's when we go back to channel mixer click it on and we go with blue and red in this example and as you can see if you crank this a little bit up his skin color will come back to life we're gonna change the uh, fire 
color and that's basically how you're gonna change any color you want you can also yeah you can, you can rotate it can do a rainbow effect or whatever you want this example i just want to go with a little purple um yeah and blue red you can of course increase decrease whatever you want also different effect as you can see and you can play with these around this example we just need like nine or ten okay if we finish this we go to noise which is additionally i like some noise in my edits so i usually put this on like eight or seven and as you can see it's a little noisy texture on it now and that's basically all you need to know about color correction pretty easy don't forget to probably switch some or do some tweaks on some scenes because as you can see on this scene it looks not really good because the color changed a bit and for that you just want to make sure to do a different um, to do a different color correction so you can just play around with uh, some settings and all the stuff so doesn't look too off for example you need to change a bit on that or probably crank this up a bit on 40 in this one now it looks better all right that's basically it also something you can add in holometric colors i forgot is um you can do the curves in here if you go on rgb curves um as you can see you can do the curve for white and you can tweak some settings and you can do really cool stuff if you can take a look around here and crank this up you can do you can play around with it and check whatever fits that's basically what i can give you on the way just play around with a lot of settings don't copy everything and it will help you it's uh, the cool thing about it is that you can really play around with it um all right i hope this video helped you